Welcome, welcome. Let's go for a quick tour of my minimalist apartment and hopefully you get some inspiration. Hello friends and a warm welcome back to Simple Essentials. If you're new around here, my name is Emmy and I am a self-proclaimed minimalist and I'm in the process of moving house. So my partner and I have bought some land, we're in the process of building a house and in less than two weeks we will be leaving our current apartment, putting the majority of everything we own in storage and living in temporary furnished accommodation for the better part of a year. But I thought it'd be really fun for you guys to tag along on an apartment tour before I start packing. And I'll link a previous video that I've done uh, up here, but we have actually changed some of the furniture around a little bit. So let's dive into the apartment tour now. All right, so we're starting here where the front door is and we've got my handbag here. You've, if you haven't yet seen my what's in my handbag video, I will link that for you above here as well. We've got a kitty cat, hey Freya. Hello, should we give them a tour? All right. So this hallway goes all the way down to the living room. We're gonna head down there in a little bit. This rug here on the floor is a handwoven rug that my grandmother back in Sweden made for me a long time ago. So it's a very special one to me. In here we have the main bathroom and we keep it things pretty minimal and simple. Um, got a nice big shower in there. Got a little bit of decor. Hi guys, got a bit of decor and stuff up here on the top, but we do keep it pretty minimal and we've got some storage under here as well for um, a foot bath and a couple of other things. But we don't have a whole lot of stuff in that cupboard. We've basically got all of our toiletries and things like that. Hey kitty. I don't know what she's waiting for. She's been sitting at the door for a while now. This here is our home office or the second bedroom. It's only a two bedroom apartment we've got. Um, and this layout has been working quite well for us. So this is my workstation over here. Freya naturally has to be involved. So the cat tower is sitting so that she can hop up and have a look out the window. We are on the ground floor, which is why the windows are pretty high up. I've got my partner's workstation and Hello, and we have a pretty big wardrobe here. Now this is not where we keep most of our clothing. I'll just give you a little sneak peek. This is basically um, bags, decor, all sorts of things. Um, both of our shoes, we've got a shoe rack each, a big banner bag of sports things there at the bottom. So this is definitely full of things and we're gonna be doing a bit of a declutter of this giant wardrobe. But what I do like is that it makes it really nice and airy in here in the office. Moving right along, we have our guest bathroom, I guess, or the ensuite. This is a two, super tiny little bathroom. And as you can tell, the shower in here is not being used because the whole time we've lived here, it's been where we keep the cat toilet, some storage and things like that. But um, it is nice to have a second bathroom every now and then you do need it. Moving back out into the hallway, we have the um, European laundry. I've done a separate video on the layout and everything in here, but just a quick sweep. We've got our washer dryer. We've got a handy shelf up there that's not too cluttered at the moment, um, but it's a really good spot to kind of hide things away. And down here in this cupboard is all of my cleaning supplies. So it's kind of handy. I am looking forward to a little bit of a bigger laundry solution in our future house, but for an apartment, it works quite well. In here on the other side, we have the master bedroom. This here is a beautiful old chest where we keep all of our linen and things like that. My partner's granddad made that. And because it's winter and cold, Freya has claimed my warm uh, hoodie. So yeah, she is liking that. Over here we have our plant stand, but I've actually got 
one of my plants sitting up here in the window getting some extra sunshine. But yeah, very, very simple master bedroom and our main closet that you would have seen in my wardrobe decluttering video. But I will also show you that I have been really good and in addition to all the stuff that I decluttered for my wardrobe, I have actually started decluttering some kitchen things and other stuff. So this is a donation pile that I just started the other day. So yeah, happy to get that one out of the house. And leaving the master bedroom, we come out into my tiny, tiny kitchen, which you have seen many a time. And the storage here is good, but it is very, very limited. So I've got a cupboard up here. Obviously got my fridge and freezer. I've got a little tiny cubby here where we put our mop and a couple of things like that. And up here in this tall skinny cupboard is my pantry. I've done quite a few pantry declutter and clean out, so I will link those videos here above. We've got a couple of cupboards above as well as a shelf. Um, these are pretty packed with stuff, but because I'm moving into a much bigger house, I am actually going to keep most of the things that are in here. We've also got some drawers down there and a cupboard over there. And here's another view of the kitchen, but it certainly, it does the job. It's really nice to have a dishwasher and everything. We do keep very minimal decor up here. I normally just have a few vases and things like that, but it works quite well. Um, but here you can also get a view of the hallway and the front door over there where my handbag is hanging. And last but not least, we have our living room complete with cat and all. Over here we've got our little um, fold-out table for two. It's really handy to be able to cook a nice meal and have a meal at a proper table. Over here we've got a really comfortable armchair with this little snuggly blanket that Freya has claimed as her bed. Haven't you, sweetie? Yeah. Over here we've got a cat scratcher which we keep out. She never actually scratches furniture, she just uses that. And then we've got our entertainment center and everything and we actually have a projector so this wall here is empty because we project movies onto that from our handy little projector over here which has worked really 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 well. A nice comfortable couch to stretch out on and out here we've got a nice little courtyard with our barbecue, a little sun lounger and some basic um, chairs and stuff and it's actually surprisingly private for a ground floor apartment. I'm not normally a huge fan of glass tables by the way but I do like this particular table because it is a fairly small living room and it makes it feel a lot more spacious because it doesn't take up a lot of visual real estate. So that's the living room. Thank you so much for tagging along on this short apartment tour and hopefully you got some inspiration for some of your spaces. Now also don't forget to subscribe via that little button below if you'd like to stay updated with all the different things that I'm going to be doing in the channel as I pack and move in this minimalist house moving series. All the best, hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you in the next video.